Welcome to our first tutorial in Microsoft Access. We're using Access 2013 version. So we start off by opening up Microsoft Access and we have the options as presented on the screen, custom web app or a blank desktop database. And it's the second option that I'm going to select. The first thing that you have to do in Microsoft Access is you have to choose the location of your database. So I'm going to select the folder and I'm going to browse to a suitable location, which is my folder, and then give my database a name. So the name of my database, in this case, is sample1. And having named my database, I can then create my database. Now when Access opens up, first of all, it likes to create a table. Now I'm not personally a big fan of this view of the table, so I'm just going to close that first of all and then I'm going to choose the Create option at the top. So I have various options in Create. I can create any item in my database, and I'm going to start off by creating a table in Design View. Now we'll see later that there are two views that are available for a table. So Table Design, and in my Design View, I have three options. I have Field Name, Data Type, and a Description, and as it says there, a description is optional. My first field that I'm going to have here is product ID. This is going to be my product table. So product ID. And I want this to be an auto number. And basically what an auto number means is that Microsoft Access will automatically give each product a different number. Now this means that each product is going to be unique. And I'm also going to choose primary key for this particular field. Now when I click on primary key, you'll see there's a tiny little key that appears to the left hand side of the product name. So that's my primary key identified and set as product ID. The description, I'm not going to bother. I could say this is the primary key, but I know because it is product ID that it is the primary key. So product name is my next field. And my data type for product name is text. Now it's just going to be a short text value. So short text lets me have up to 255 characters where a character is a letter or a number or a symbol. We can add validation and we'll have a look at validation in the next tutorial. Validation is simply a way of limiting the options for data entry. So it prevents you putting in incorrect values. As well as a product name, I want to have a price, and price is going to be currency. Then I'm going to have my stock level, and my stock level is a number value. When I choose number, obviously there are lots of different types of number, but when I select number, access automatically chooses a long integer, so a whole number value. I'm also going to add in a reorder value, so a reorder level. This is going to be useful if I have a system that tracks stock levels. It enables me to put in a different reorder level for each type of product. So again, I'm going to choose a number for this. And then I'm going to put in um, a color. So I've got a product name and a price, so I'm going to add in color, which again is text. Now really, color should be up with the product name so I'm going to select my field by clicking on that row and then I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it up underneath product name. So I've reordered it. Now I'm going to save my table and I save my table by clicking on the save option in the top left hand side and when I hit save it says save as and I notice that it is the table that it is saving. The database has already been saved. The database is called sample1, but this particular table gets its own name. I'm going to call it table product. And I use TBL at the start, just so that when my database gets complicated later on, I'm able to easily reference the tables or the forms or the queries or the reports. So table product, choose OK, and it's now saved. You'll also notice that table product appears on the left hand side and on the left hand side all of the objects that I create will appear. They are categorized so my product table appears under the heading of tables. Now that my table has been created, I've created the structure for holding information, I can then change my view 
and there are two views. I have design view that I'm in at the moment and I have a datasheet view. Datasheet view is where I get to add the details of each individual record. So my product name, in this case, I'm going to sell um, some furniture. So my first product is a chair. It is a brown chair. The price is 120 pounds. Stock level at the moment, 16, with a reorder level of four. Then when I press tab on the left-hand side of my keyboard, it moves to the next record. I'm not gonna enter any values at any time in the product ID. Microsoft Access is automatically assigning a product ID. So I'll add in a coffee table. And my coffee table is black. It retails at 60 pounds and has a stock level of 12 and a reorder level of three. Then I'm gonna to continue to enter in details of different products. I've now added in a few more records into the table. So I have 10 records. One of my records is a red chair, record number five, and I've decided that I don't want this particular record. So I'm gonna select this. Now that it's selected, I can right click and I can choose to delete this particular option. Now, in deleting the record, I find that I get an error message. I'm about to delete one record. Am I sure? Yes, in this case, I am sure. You'll notice that record number five has now disappeared. So I now have some items added into my table, my first table in the database, and I might want to reorder them. So for example, I might want to put them in order of price. So I'm gonna click in the price column, and I'm gonna choose from the top here, ascending order. And you'll see that all of the items are now in order of price, starting with the smallest. Other options that I have, I can filter. The naming scheme that I have given for my product isn't very exciting, but what I can do is I can choose the little arrow beside product name, and I'm gonna deselect all, first of all. And I just want to see information about chairs, of which there should be three. So I'm gonna choose chair and hit okay, and everything else is filtered out. Now, these items have not been deleted, they're just hidden from view at the moment. And again, you can see there's a little icon showing a filter that has been applied here. And the option here is toggle filter. So I can put the, the filter off and I can switch the filter back on again. Now, it doesn't seem like a great idea for my nine records, but you can imagine that if I have hundreds of records or thousands of records, it would be extremely useful to be able to reorder them and to be able to filter through the information. So in this first Microsoft Access tutorial, we have created our database, saved it in an appropriate location. Then we've created a table to store our information. We've created the table in design view, choosing appropriate field types. And then we've switched to datasheet view in order to enter the information in. Our table has a primary key identified and the primary key uniquely identifies each record. In our case, we've chosen product ID to be the primary key and we've set it as an auto number. This means that we'll never have two product IDs the same in our table.